Nicodemus asked Jesus a question. And Jesus said, except a man is born again, he cannot see, enter. Or what of what he cannot enter the kingdom. That startled him. And then he said, are you saying I need to go back into my mother's womb? Do you see the way natural man raises? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He had understanding of biological birth. And biological birth, sis, is a journey of a baby out of the womb of the woman. That's birth. So when Jesus said, except the man is born again, he was like, are you saying I will go back? You can't go back. Do you know why? The seed travels from the man. So if he's going to go back, he has to go back to the man. And the seed will travel from the man to the woman again. Mm -hmm. So that journey is impossible. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said, no, you don't have to go through that experience again. But there is a new birth. Because First Corinthians 15.22 says that for us in Adam all died. In Adam all died. Even so, in Christ, in Adam, in Christ, all shall be made alive. So for, man, for a man to be made alive, he has to be baptized into Christ. Baptism is a journey of the spirit without the physical body into the being of Christ. <laughs> so he said, he told me, he said, no. I will take you into myself. I am the womb of God. Mm -hmm. Your mother is your father's womb. Where your father planted the seed that brought your body into the earth, my father will take you and plant you into his womb, which I am. The word of God is the womb of God. Yes. See, baptism into Christ is not water baptism. <laughs> <laughs> baptism into Christ is new birth. Amen. Physical birth is the journey of both the spirit and the physical body out of the womb. New birth is the journey of the spirit alone into Christ. Hallelujah. We all, by one spirit, by one spirit we're baptized into as we are baptized into Christ. Hallelujah. As when, when, when did it happen? You know, we didn't know when it happened. <laughs> Nobody could, can explain when it happened. We were told. We are baptized into Christ. Had put on Christ. He's not putting on Christ. He's not like wearing shirt. You are wearing shirt now. You to put on Christ means to be Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Let's put on that identity. As you can remove, you can remove it to what you don't know that you are lost. You will lord itself over you. Yes. Honestly speaking, are you aware that we are not? We are not. Part of the gender creation. Yes, sir. We are not, even though we are wearing a body. Yes, sir. No, that is of the gender creation. But we are not of the gender creation. The gender creation defines Adam and his environment. Yes. Where God gave seed to certain creatures to be able to produce after their kind. But we are wearing a body given to man, Adam. But do you realize that Jesus, when he came out from the grave, came out with a body that is not like this? Yes, sir. The same structure. Pots, but doesn't have sex organs, organs. With that body, you can't procreate. The resurrected body. Yes. It's a new body. It's an immortal body. That is our own body. This one is what is Adam's Adamic. So, for this one to stop suffering the effects of the fall, I have to understand who I am. Yes. And bring into my consciousness the reality, the knowledge of who I am. Yes. Because this body already had already received the vibration of the frequency of death through the old spirit. It is my responsibility to transmit the vibration of my name, which is my nature, life, into this body via meditation or consciousness. Dissolve. Yes. Dissolve. How? How? We are not human. We are, ghosts. We are not. You can't trace, track your origin. 
in the flesh. 